In the 1980s, Hollywood decided to pull out all the stops and make even bigger, over-the-top, big-budget car chase movie blockbuster extravaganzas. The car chase movies of the late 1960s and 1970s established that there was indeed a voracious audience appetite for car stunts, crashes, explosions, and monumental amounts of automotive mayhem that proved popular and profitable. This video takes a wild ride down memory lane through that decade of decadence. So strap in and hang on while we feature the top 10 car chase movies of the 1980s. Coming in at number 10 is Beverly Hills Cop from 1984. This action comedy film stars Eddie Murphy in his fourth movie role serving up a stellar performance as Axel Foley. As a street smart cop from Detroit who has no patience for rules, Axel sets off to Beverly Hills to solve a crime that's heavily personal to him. The movie is light on vehicle chases with only one at the beginning that takes place in Detroit before Axel decamps west. And it's a good one. A loaded semi-truck is attempting to flee the police with Axel in the trailer portion hanging on for dear life, and the driver taking calamitous aim at a fruit truck, a taxi cab, and so, so many parked cars. What a great chase to get you hooked to watch the rest of this stellar film. Blazing a Trail of Speed is number 9 with Against All Odds from 1984. Starring a young Jeff Bridges and James Woods, this film has a great street race scene between Bridges' Porsche and Woods' Ferrari. Together they unleash unbridled mayhem on Sunset Boulevard in the Holmby Hills area of Los Angeles, narrowly avoiding other cars and forcing everyone to launch into defensive driving mode, with a garbage truck ultimately slamming the brakes on the fun. The sequence is high energy and highly entertaining with cool cars, a shining California sun, impactful lighting and camera angles, and there's even a cool dog riding shotgun in the Ferrari. A fiery finish at number 8 is License to Kill from 1989. In Timothy Dalton's second and final outing as James Bond, there's a stunt-filled chase sequence through the desert that destroys a bunch of tanker trucks filled with fuel and illegal substances. One of the stunts involves a highly imaginative and awesome scene where Bond drives a tanker truck tipped up at 45 degrees to avoid an incoming missile. Why so awesome? This was a real stunt with no CGI, and very impressive. There are explosions, explosions, and more explosions, and even a flaming truck careening off a cliff that narrowly misses a plane flying by. High fives all around to the producers and the stunt team for creating this big budget action packed wreck fest. Crossing the line at number 7 is Smokey and the Bandit 2 from 1980. The team is back together again for one more score to transport an elephant from Miami to Dallas in 9 days for a $400,000 payday. There's comedy, there's a little drama, stunts, and of course a new black Pontiac Trans Am. Sheriff Justice and Junior are back again in hapless pursuit of Bandit and Cletus that amps up the stunts and destruction with even bigger and better jumps and smashes where not even a roller coaster ride is spared from the havoc. The grand finale is reminiscent of a Civil War cavalry charge, but with cars and trucks instead of horses, and includes brigades of Canadian Mounties, Texas Rangers, and a fleet of semi trucks all battling in a demolition derby of destruction. Coming in at number 6 is Cobra from 1986. This film was based on a screenplay written by its star, Sylvester Stallone, and also starring Brigitte Nielsen. Stallone takes on the role of Lieutenant Marion Cobra Cabretti, who is tasked with protecting crime witness Ingrid Knudsen, played by Nielsen, from an underworld cabal of social Darwinist radicals. The action is intense and gets underway with a chase scene involving stunt replications of Stallone's own 1950 Mercury two-door coupe. The superhero Mercury is one tough machine and is seemingly indestructible to the massive abuse that Cobra inflicts upon it. Later on in the movie, we get to see an entire town literally destroyed by a squadron of bad guy motorcyclists gunning to take out the hero and his protective charge with abundant resistance served up by Cobra in the back of this black Dodge pickup. A respectable finish at number 5 is The Junkman from 1982. This over-the-top movie was produced, directed, written, and also starred H.B. Halicki, 
the master obliterator who brought his epic Gone in 60 Seconds Crash of Palooza Tour de Force to movie screens in 1974. Full time unrestrained destruction is once again served up with over 150 cars, trucks, motorcycles, and airplanes smashing away to their rectacular demise. At one time, a Guinness World Record. There's so much vehicular carnage in this film that the plot takes a backseat to all the on screen action that fills up most of the running time of the movie. There's even a cameo appearance of Eleanor, the 1973 Ford Mustang looking worse for wear from the original Gone in 60 Seconds film. Blasting through at number 3 is The Terminator from 1984. Introducing the Terminator character that kicked off a six movie series that spans four decades and counting, Arnold Schwarzenegger portrays the title character as a time-traveling cyborg assassin dispatched to 1984 to eliminate the mother of an unborn future Skynet resistance fighter. Naturally, there are car chase scenes that delight us movie smash em up fans as Sarah Connor and her human time-traveling protector attempt to escape from the unrelenting pursuit of the Terminator. The action-packed magnum opus is near the end of the movie where the pair continue with their escape attempts in a pickup truck as the Terminator gives chase on a motorcycle all the while dodging explosives thrown his way. As a spectacular exclamation point to the vehicle chase action, we're gifted with a blamtastic tanker truck crash and explosion from director James Cameron. A glorious finish at number 2 is Mad Max 2 The Road Warrior from 1981. The second film of the Mad Max franchise once again has Mel Gibson reprising his role as Max Rokotansky in a post-apocalyptic desertscape wasteland defending humble settlers from a roving band of violent mobile marauders who'll stop at nothing to steal their supply of fuel. The vehicles themselves are found object works of art that create the perfect action movie monochromatic dystopian aesthetic. A couple of shorter chase scenes during the first half of the film foreshadows what's to come in the climactic mechanical melee where Mad Max's fuel truck is besieged upon by a platoon of bloodthirsty land pirates in a no holds barred vehicular free-for-all. The film won several awards and proved to be a violent, shocking, and frightening movie masterpiece that set a new high bar for action movies that came after. And the winner of our top 10 list is none other than the Blues Brothers from 1980. Starting the decade off with a bang along with all those car action scenes, smashes, crashes, and bashes is the story of Jake and Elwood Blues on a mission from God to raise $5,000 to save the orphanage they were raised in from being foreclosed on while being pursued in their bluesmobile by all sorts of baddies. Of course, there's comedy, music, action, and for the $30 million budget, some epic car chases and destruction that are well deserving of our number one spot on the list. There's the memorable police chase through the shopping mall that destroys nearly all of the stores within, making the location the most dangerous place to buy penny loafers on that particular day. Then there's also the final chase scene that takes place on the streets and freeways of Chicago, where the bedlam continues with the Bluesmobile doing a backflip and the bad guy's Pinto falling off an uncompleted freeway overpass. And lastly, there's the Bluesmobile crashing through Daly Center to come to its final destination and earn a place as the best car chase movie of the 1980s. We hope you enjoyed this wild ride through movie history, taking a nostalgic look back at those epic action car chase films brought to us by Hollywood hero producers, directors, and stunt teams with gasoline and courage coursing through their veins, and the mountains of cash required to bring their vision to life, and leave us with these nuggets of cinematic perfection. As always, thanks for watching and leave a comment to share your thoughts about our list. Don't forget to like and share this video and to subscribe to our channel to keep the content coming.